bridge not from love legends. We meet legends every day. We're remembering about legends. We're thinking about legends. And legends can be very different from all of us. Legend can be, for example, um, this guy. Or, for example, if you think about it, it can be also this guy. There are many legends. Legends, 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 legends. But we have our own legends. And today is our perfect time to introduce the real legend. Let's just take our hand in space and call here the man from space. Well, here I am, arrived in Goa. My name is Oli Wisdom and happy to meet you. <laughs> Wow, I feel myself really fantastic man because now it's just an uh, incredible moment when I can really touch the legend, you know, and uh, I think that one of the moments we straight have to talk about is why this connection with space and why space tribe? Why space tribe? Because that's what we are. We are one tribe living out here, floating around on this little ball in space, you know, so in the end it's all of us. You know, and it's just a name that, for me, felt connected all of us. Excellent. Tell us the story of Space Tribe. You know, <clears throat> actually, I tell you honestly, you know, when I was living in Russia, uh, in one moment, Space Tribe uh, just uh, occupied everything. It was the music, it was the t-shirts, it was even the underwear pants, it was the teddy bears. <laughs> yeah. And many people, especially from 90s, somehow we can tell that was touched by Space Tribe, by body, by soul, by everything. So. I'm sure it is really nice to know how a space type started, when it started, what was the idea, concept? Well, you know, there was no real concept behind it. There was no idea we're going to start this. Um, I mean, before I came to Goa, I, was, I found out about trance parties in Thailand in Coke T8, 89, 90, like this. Mm -hmm. And they were really early years there, too. And so we came with a big crew of us, actually, to, to Goa in 1990 when we first arrived here. And, what do we want to do? We want to enjoy life, share our music, make parties, make them better than ever we can, make the decorations better, get better sound systems in, find new ways to just improve what we already have, you know, which is a, a brilliant, brilliant thing, you know, a life-changing thing. So there was no plan to start Space Tribe, you know, we came here, the first year I was here I didn't make any parties, I just came and experienced all the parties that were going on here and all the music that was happening here and found my way way in, you know, I didn't jump straight in, I came and had a look first. And then we made the first party together here in 1991 in the Bamboo Forest. And we, we bought the first DAP machines. It was the first one yeah. in Bamboo Forest. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay. We, we bought the, the first DAP machines, we bought the first 20K sound system where we had complaints from maps there and, yeah. and it, it span on from there and you know I was doing this with my brother Mikey and always I would do the music and he would do the visuals and I the think visuals were existing at that time already. that's right yeah you know in decorations handmade decorations or handmade paintings and just I you, mean that, you know okay. doing what what you can to make the party more beautiful you know how you decorate the coconut trees and you know finding a, a teepee to have somebody with a punch Ending. inside <laughs> you know um, and then, at the end of the season, I think in '91, we went. My brother and I, and another guy called Richmond, we went to to Bali. For why not? You know, it's just something to do. And when we were there, we made we made what we thought was enough clothing for the flea market to, to stay one one whole season here. And just for yourself, you mean, or just well, to no, sell a little bit? Yeah, just to sell what we can what we can carry. You know, I mean. It, it, in, in Bali was very creative, you know, because they have very good batikas there and good printers there, so you can 
you can experiment and make some, make some stuff, you know. And Richmond was coming up with the first fractal prints, and we were making all the the sarongs with the Indian gods, Ganesh and Shiva and all this and stuff. And we came we came to to Goa, and we thought we had enough for one season, and we'd be gone in one week or something like this, you know. And end of the season we went back to Bali and we made and it just ca happened organically like this you know there was never a plan we're gonna go and make this business or anything like that you know we we were just having fun with it you know and <laughs> but I remember in the 90s it was like almost all the boys was wearing the uh, leggings the yep. space wrap leggings and this all this tiny uh, everywhere I remember space wrap every bag that was space wrap and then how could you produce so much in general I mean, it was really massive. Yeah, I mean, it just grew, you know. The Balinese were really good at what they did with it, you know. And people were coming to Bali and leaving with bags. There was no distribution network or anything. There was people carrying it in these fucking big bags, you know. Okay, and how it uh, came out in Europe? It's like, I, I mean, think it, the shops are everywhere. Yeah, that's right. It just slowly evolved. I mean, we didn't ever make one advert, ever. We never paid for an advert. We just made what we like. Inside the tribe. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, I mean, there's tribe spreads all around the world in this time. So, of course, the clothing and the music spreads along with that, you know. Music. Oh, no, we come so far with the clothes. Let's come back with the music. But you know what, Ole, you know, honestly, you know, I know that you're a magic person, okay? And after you tell so much about all these clothes and everything and how it was before, I really want to go up in time. But I feel myself really bad. Can you do some little magic? Just make a... Wow, fantastic. Now I fit myself fit to this interview. Space Stripe interview is just here with us and go. Yes, okay, lovely. So come back to the music, yes? Okay, so uh, how it started, we're all real fans of Space Stripe. It was, man, if 10 years ago somebody told me they'll go like this in the swingers with you... No, 15, okay. I'll just freak out from happiness. I'm freaking out now even from happiness to have you near to me, so please tell me how it was all this music story and space tribe and all the wisdom by yourself. You was punk before, not me also, by the way, no? That's right, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I started in bands, in punk bands, and then a goth band, and we had hits in England and we toured all over America, and then it came to an what end. What, was playing guitar? No, I was singing. Ah, I was singing. Yeah. Wow, I can't imagine. And when that came to an end, I went traveling, and I came to Thailand in the end, in my uh -huh. travels, yeah. I'd, I'd walked away from the music business and let's see what's next in my life, you know, and get to Koh Phangan and this full moon party happening there on the beach, you know. I'd never seen anything like it before and everybody full on psychedelic situation and from then I just said, okay, now I can, now I find my way back into music again, which is not doing music to make the record, to make the tour, to get its success. This is music for how it changed the mind of people. Yeah, mind and opinion. changed the whole life of people in that. So I, I see how this how I go back in the music and I start playing some part you know, I get more and more involved with people who are doing the music there in the parties there and just bring me bring me in, you know. I mean for me it's like a virus. Once you're infected yeah. You're infected. Yeah, you're, you're infected okay. forever, you know, and you can't go back from to how you were before anyway. So, you know, from that moment on, the music take me on a journey, and it's still taking me on a journey now today, which is yeah, fantastic. Tell me, as uh, how long you making music? It's like around 18 years. I mean, uh, well, the first Space Tribe release was I think in 1993, which is tracks with which is 21 years. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. So, and you're still doing the music now, okay? Still doing the music. So now, yeah. now okay, it's all computers and everything. Maybe tell me, like, really, it's 20 years ago, what he was using for the first tracks? I mean, like, well, the first tracks I made with Simon Posford, who's a complete master anyway, and that was in Butterfly Studios. Yeah, you know, I mean, I had a small studio here in Goa, but not enough to make fully pr produced tracks here. We would make remixes for parties and stuff like that in the studio here. But uh, to go back to London and to be able to get in the big studio there, there's a the chance to actually sort of produce, yeah. produce it really properly, you know, and that's, that, that's where it started, studio. Yeah, but which programs, which synthesizers? Well, I mean, I had, here, I, it was an Atari, I had an Atari laptop ah, here that's in Goa, that's right, you know, and Akai samplers, Kurzweil synthesizers, Roland, one of those, and 
you know, a track in those days was a live mix of your whole studio MIDI setup, you know, with 10 synthesizers playing at the same time and you're running here and yeah, opening yeah. effects. And not like now with one laptop. No, not like now where everything's already programmed right in there, you know. Okay, tell me, I mean, like, according to the situation now and 20 years ago, how do you feel the music changed at that time? Well, it's evolved rather than changed. Um, you know, the kind of flying, uplifting music, it has to be within a certain BPM range, and it has to be four beats on the floor, for it to, but that's the parameters that you need for it to even work, yeah? So, that didn't change, you know, and the intention of where you want to take somebody with music, rather than the intention to make something great, but the intention of where to take somebody with the music for themselves, that didn't change either. Yeah, that's true. You know, the technology changed, ways of getting what you want out of these different machines, all that's changed, but we're still looking for the perfect hidden base, like we were 20 years ago. And it goes on, you know, because it evolves, you know, and we evolve. So, you know, it, it's always really interesting. And I think if you keep it psychedelic still, you know, I mean, for me, I, I like the, the new music that I make as much as anything I made in the past, you know, even though it comes... Yeah, it's the progress of psychedelic, yeah, That's so. right, yeah, you know. But now we have the tools to be really fine about just nail exactly what yeah. you're going to say on the head, you know. Perfect. <coughs> Uh, what else I want to ask is, uh, when was last time it was in Goa before the break? Well, uh, six months ago. No, I mean like... 19 years. 19 years? Yeah. Uh, wow, 19 years and then it came last year, first yeah, time, yeah? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Uh, the usual question I ask for all the Goa dudes, for the veterans of the scene, what are the changes in 20 years that you see? Well... Now, honestly, look between you and me, okay? I mean, just... then, I mean, a lot's changed and a lot hasn't changed. You come here, it's still going. You know, it's got a certain magic to it that, that, that just happens to be here, you know, and that's still very much here. You know, there's more buildings and there's more cars and there's more traffic. But, you know, I think it's, it really retains a lot of its magic still, you know. Somehow it didn't change so much that it... All got lost, you know. I mean, okay, there's other stuff here, and you know, everywhere changes. You cannot expect a place to stay boom like it was in that one moment in time, you know. I mean, we were we we're part of why it changed as well, you know, because we enjoy so much, and we tell people, and they come here, and it all goes from there. Um, now there's a lot more Indian people here enjoying it for sure, you know, and we're in yeah, India. Become so. destination. Yeah. You know, and, and it wasn't so much like that before. So, you know, it's a bit more diluted, but that's kind of inevitable, but it still retains its magic very strong. Excellent answer. Tell us how, when it was small, how old are you? I mean, 56. Yo, and uh, when it was really small, did you like to swing? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, how, how, how far you could go with your swinging? Yeah, well, how far do you go on an Indian swing? Ah, <laughs> this is the question. <laughs> this is okay. a different question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, one more question I want to ask, as there is the beginning of the year now, maybe you have some special wishes to everybody and all psychedelic world who is watching this interview now. So, just like to wish everybody a happy, psychedelic, blasting, healthy, fantastic, exuberant, New Year. Hope all your dreams come true.